Jia Yu Huang's 16 hour workday starts with a hot breakfast for her pigs. Not long ago, the 32 year old rice farmer cooked their gruel over a smoky fire in a sooty kitchen with wood she had spent hours gathering in the countryside outside her village of Wenyang in Guangxi. Methane now powers her new stove instantly and cleanly. In the past, before we had biogas, it took two of us to collect firewood in the mountains. Each time, it took about half a day, and we went two or three times a month. Waste from Mrs. Huang's pig shed and family toilet runs underground to an enclosed tank, where methane builds up and flows in a plastic pipe to the kitchen stove and light. It provides enough fuel to cook three meals a day for her family of six, for free. It also provides slurry, free natural fertilizer. Mrs. Huang applies it to her vegetables and rice paddies. Millions of rural Chinese now use methane for fuel, and the government is encouraging its spread. Keeping pigs or other animals is the easiest way to produce methane, but not the only one. Fruit tree farmers can buy a load of manure a year from a cow or pig farm to start their digester and add wood pruned from fruit trees. Building a digester, as the tank is called, is hard work. The government gives farmers help and advice to build the tank and how to install the stove and light. It also gives subsidies to buy the setup. And the World Bank is helping five provincial governments subsidize digesters, stoves, and improved kitchen lights, as well as pig sheds. They are also subsidizing relevant training for over half a million households. China has a long history of utilizing biogas, and China has accumulated lots of experience as well. Still, we like to work with the World Bank. We like to benefit in two areas. First is in knowledge management. We like to get more knowledge and expertise. Second is fund utilization, so we like to use World Bank funds to speed up development. As China prospers, demand for meat grows. Animal waste is a big producer of methane, a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. It's more harmful than carbon dioxide when released, but when captured, it burns cleanly. Chong Huang had headaches and coughed when she cooked with wood. They have disappeared. I'm also healthier since I started cooking with methane. I don't have to stand over the heat and inhale the smoke anymore. And I have more time for my granddaughter. Mrs. Huang was one of the first in her village to adopt methane. She tries to persuade friends and family to invest in a digester so they too can live a healthier life in a cleaner environment.